My next guest represented the family of Nicole Brown Simpson during the OJ trial. Attorney Gloria Allred joins me now. Uh, Gloria, thank you for being here today. Uh, what's your reaction? Thank to you OJ? for inviting me, Travis. No problem. It's good to have you back on the show. What's your reaction to OJ Simpson's death? Well, I'm glad that your setup piece that we just viewed reminded everyone that although uh, Simpson was acquitted in the criminal case, uh, in fact, he was found liable in the civil case that came after that. And for me, the big difference was he didn't have to testify in the criminal case. He could assert his Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination and stay silent, which he did. But in the civil case, because he was acquitted in the criminal case, he did have to testify. He did testify, and the jury didn't believe him when he denied killing Nicole and Ron Goldman. Uh, he just wasn't credible. And uh, he sat next to a big photo of Nicole where she had a black eye that he had inflicted on her and that he, she had run from the house and been terrified. And this was five years before he killed her. Uh, and he denied doing that even though he admitted in court. He pled no contest to doing it, but that judge didn't give him one day in jail for beating his wife. So he became emboldened, he became empowered. Ultimately, the jury found that he did kill her. Uh, you know, it's really important that the issue of domestic violence, violence against a spouse or a significant partner be highlighted because that got lost in the criminal justice system because the narrative of the defense was somehow this was about trying to get a successful, famous, wealthy, powerful uh, African-American man. That was just a bunch of nonsense. Uh, this issue was about violence against women mm -hmm. and the system failed women in that regard and victims and 30 years later i think it is still failing victims of violence against them you don't think that uh, america learned anything from that trial in terms of the justice system yeah the justice system has failed still fails especially by the way where there are celebrity men Mm -hmm. There's a cult of celebrity that's going on in this country where, you know, and I understand the public is familiar with them from movies or television or streaming on the Internet or all of the above. And they get to know these celebrity men and they like them and they feel they've welcomed them in their homes, you know, through whatever service they're they're streaming or using. And they don't know the woman who says she's a victim of either rape or gender violence of some sort. And so they tend to side with the smiling celebrity man. But in real life, a lot of these men are leading double lives and they have hurt women and they have endangered women. And sometimes they kill their victims because they just feel they can't control them. And that's what they wanna do is control women. So uh, all I can say is my heart does go out to the children who were young when their when O.J. Simpson, their father, decap almost decapitated their mother and left her in a pool of blood at the you know doorstep of the condominium in which Nicole was living with the young children, uh, Sydney and Justin. And thank God that the young children didn't come out the door looking for mommy and finding her in a position which they would never have been able to forget, but. You know, all I can say is the family, the sisters of Nicole Brown Simpson, the parents, uh, uh, Juditha and Lou, who are no longer alive, you know, they have suffered so much. They have been so brave. They wanted me and they themselves also gave a voice to victims of domestic violence to try to help other victims in the future. So I commend them for that. And I will just say, OJ Simpson is dead maybe now his victims nicole and ron will finally be able to rest in peace we had alan dershowitz on last hour here on canada tonight and he said you know the evidence laid out that oj simpson was not guilty in that first trial you also in your statement you said the truth about oj simpson can never be erased and never sh should be forgotten what is Correct. in your view the truth about oj simpson 
my view of O.J. Simpson is, you know, I have to, I'm an attorney, I respect a jury's verdict, but if I were on that jury, I would have found that, that the mountain of evidence that had been presented by the prosecution, which included O.J. Simpson's blood, his DNA that had been analyzed, and that was all over the crime scene, uh, meant that he was, in fact, a person who could have been found guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. But the jury in the civil case found that. They didn't believe it. So we can call him a killer. He was a killer. He will always be known as a killer. That should be his legacy. Don't give him a pass. Don't, give, don't call him a star. He is a convicted felon uh, in Nevada. He spent nine years in prison. I say, you know, karma does come around. And um, so, uh, you know, I think it's time to focus on victims and what we can do to improve the justice system and not treat violence against women as though it's some kind of little footnote and not the reason that somebody killed their wife. Uh, and that, of course, was a diversionary tactic by uh, Johnny Cochran on the defense team. It worked. His narrative worked with the jury. As soon as I heard him say, keep your eyes on the prize, I know well, that's a famous civil rights saying, and I've represented and still represent many victims of racial discrimination. So I knew that that's what he was doing. He was playing that card. And I think that's wrong because there are many cases that are truly racial discrimination or racial violence cases or mm -hmm. reasons that prosecutors are. This was not one of them, Travis. This was all about violence, but that did seem to be unimportant, even though there was evidence to support it. So, But I'm glad at least there was some justice in the civil case. And any money that he did have to pay, which yeah. is probably not much because he ran to Florida to shelter it there in his home and he did. we couldn't touch his pension. Um, you know, would have gone mainly to his children. The family did it for so the money would go to his children if they recovered it, not to themselves. Gloria, I'm running short on time here, but I do want to ask you quickly before uh, I, I go if you if you've spoken to Nicole uh, Brown Simpson's family, uh, and if you haven't, how they might be feeling tonight uh, with yeah, all these images on the I screen of OJ Simpson. Yeah, I haven't been able to reach them today. I'm sure they're absolutely overwhelmed with a zillion calls from media that have been trying to reach them, some of them unsuccessfully, yeah. many of them unsuccessfully. But all I can say is, you know, that my sense is, whether they say it or not, that they have very conflicted feelings about O.J. Simpson. I know they love their nephew and niece, Sydney mm -hmm. and Justin, and care about them and tried to protect them while he was in in jail and and they you know they and their parents were taking care of the children um so you know all i can say is my heart goes out to them because they've had to suffer so much and they've been so brave in doing what they could to help others gloria allred uh thank you so much for joining us uh, that is gloria allred who represented the family of nicole brown simpson during the oj trial joining us from los angeles this evening